The closing of two electric generating plants in Adams County means the loss of 700 jobs, and that's certainly going to affect the economy of everyone in that southern Ohio County. Nine on your side's Tom McKee spent the day talking with people most affected by this move. Many of the businesses here in West Union depend a great deal for their livelihood upon the spending of the employees of the Stewart and Killen power stations. However, with both plants scheduled to close in June of 2018, there's a lot of concern about the future. The people at Barry Chevrolet Buick normally sell about 750 new vehicles a year. But with the closing of the Stewart and Killen plants, that could change. Sean McFarland is fourth generation of his family to work in the auto business. I've got a, a large amount of, of close friends that work at DPNL. I've got an even larger customer base that works at DPNL, so it, it's going to have a big impact. At Mosier Furniture, Gary McClelland knows an economic storm is coming, but he's optimistic about how it can be weathered. There's no doubt about it. It's going to filter down. It's just how we're able to handle it. And I believe we can handle it. I think we will. Manchester local schools will take a big hit in tax revenue from the closings. We would be looking at a total loss of somewhere between five and a half and perhaps as much as seven million dollars out of what was an eleven million dollar budget. Superintendent Dr. Charles Shreve is already talking with legislators in Columbus about a solution. Richard Sees heads the Adams County Ohio Valley Schools and says the best thing the district can do is remain a solid resource for students and parents. I happen to think that we bring hope to our community and I hope that we can do more of that. Not knowing exactly what will happen is concerning to Greg Adams who heads Local 175 of the Utility Workers of America. We would really like for the company to look for someone to purchase these power plants. In the meantime, Adams County Commissioner Ty Pell is coordinating aid for any displaced workers. The number one uh, priority for our employees losing their job would be retraining and placement. Those plants take up 5,500 acres along the Ohio River, and DPNL hasn't told Adams County officials what they plan to do with that land after the closings. Tom McKean, 9 on your side, West Union.